Hello my friends, how are you? Welcome to the science show. My name is Professor Proton and today we will be doing science experiment. Okay, so today we have a, this is a beaker and uh, we have some water and two straws. One is red and other one is also red. Okay, very good. So first what I will do, I will pour the water into the beaker. Okay, Bismillah, let's go one, two, three. Okay, very good, very good. So I have two straws. Here we have this is your mind and this is your body. Okay, this is representative your mind, your body, but they really are straws. Okay, but imagine your mind and your body. Okay, so what will happen if I put the body inside and the mind outside? Will I be able to drink it properly? Let's try. There's no water coming in, only air. No, no, I'm thirsty, I want water. So now what I will do, I will put the mind inside and I will drink now. Mmm, too much water, too much water, very good, very nice. Water is very healthy. <laughs> Okay, now my friends, I want you to use your brain, you know, inside your head if you have one. And uh, think about what does this actually mean. So, maybe the water is uh, your prayers. And when you enter your prayer, you're saying, you know, you're going up, down, doing many actions like exercise. But is your mind in your salah? Because when your mind is outside, nothing is coming inside. But when you put your mind in the salah, then you know, there's too much water. It tastes very good. Yes, very good. Water is so nice. I like water. My friends, listen closely. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that Allah does not accept the prayer of a servant whose heart is not present alongside his body. So I want you to think, um, how can this be possible? Huh? How can you focus in your salah? How can it be your mind is present, your heart is present? It's very difficult. But you tell me, you think about it. Maybe one suggestion is uh, think about why you are praying, huh? Why is it that we are saying what we are saying in Arabic? I don't speak Arabic, but I have to understand what we are saying to Allah. And what is this salah that we are doing? What is it actually doing? Maybe when you're doing the wudu, maybe think about that you're cleaning yourself spiritually, huh? And the benefits of salah. So it is very important. Also, my friends, think about the action. For example, when we start, we start with takbiratul ihram. Okay, so we put our hands up like this. Like, you know, when police comes, he says, hands up. You say, hands up. Okay, we surrender. Yes, my friends, we are surrendering ourselves to Allah the Almighty. So we are saying we are worth nothing and we give our life, the whole life for you, Allah. Saying, Allahu Akbar, this is how we start, okay? Like, uh, I live my life for you, I love you. Yes. Maybe we should actually understand and read the translation of what we recite. So, for example, we recite Surah Al-Fatiha. And which other Surah do we recite? That's right, Surah Ikhlas. And even in our first rakat, we can choose. Allah lets us do pick and mix. Like, we can pick which Surah we like and recite it. Yes, so... Maybe we should start by learning the translation. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq has said, whoever performs a two unit of prayer, fully knowing what he's saying in it, gets up with it with not a single sin left unforgiven between him and Allah. So when you pray, and you know what you're saying. So for example, you know the understanding of the surahs 
and the actions, you know, then all your sins are forgiven, mashallah! <laughs> so don't forget my friends, you have to have your mind and your body present in your salah. Okay, that is it for me, Professor Prota. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Do <laughs> do